Yeah, so I'm live now. <laughs> Neat. I'm actually running this as a bit of a test, but it's going to be a keeper because I want to see how it works so that I have something to work with for later. If you could see in the details, I am participating again in the Shoppers Love You Run for Women, um, which is something I've participated in regularly since 2016. Uh, it's been a very important event to me. And uh, with that, I am going to just be upgrading it with a little challenge or two, considering the uh, the more limited time it's going to take to uh, to fundraise. So with that, that uh, every year that I've been participating in this, uh, my goal has always been to get $1,100. Uh, and again, the event itself has been pretty meaningful for me. And every year I've been right at, close, or uh, of course succeeded on that. Uh, and this year around, um, it's going to just be a little more difficult because of COVID, so we can't assume uh, cash handovers or e-transfers or whatnot, and so I'm trying to add a little bit of incentive when it comes to the fundraising this time. Uh, and then, of course, going back to what I was rambling about Twitter Live, I know that should challenges be met, I'm pretty sure people want to see some proof in the pudding, so I just want to figure out how this damn thing works, it's kind of the long chart of it. Um, so what uh, what my goal is if with um, with the, the the run for women this year is and I'm not, I don't really have a script on this too, so I don't know if I explain it but the Winnipeg the Winnipeg uh, run for women uh, it is in support of women's wellness programs at Mood Disorders Association of Manitoba and that's one of the reasons why this is very important to me. Um, this all started a long time ago with uh, somebody who was very special to me and I made a promise to raise awareness about mental health and uh, never look back. It's how I work with promises. If I say it's going to happen, it's that I promise made is a promise kept. Uh, fortunately for years since, uh, many, many women have uh, shared their stories with me about uh, their own mental health challenges. And what's exciting is um, <laughs> just because of my own saltiness, let's put it that way, uh, I managed to have a conversation with uh, individuals over uh, on the Run for Women side to discuss how to make uh, the event just more inclusive in general. Right, where to uh, break away the binary standards of what the word woman means, right, and make it a more inclusive and inviting event um, for for all women, which is really exciting. So I'm curious to see how it's going to go. Anyway, I want to get off this and get back to work, right? I look like a hot mess, and I know that it's because I'm trying to get stuff done, including fundraising. Um, so the goals: eleven hundred dollars is normally my goal all the time, right? It's Hit the goal, call it a day. Um, but this time around, because I know the limited amount of time and the limited amount of methods to go ahead and raise proceeds, I'm going to introduce a challenge that if I succeed at gaining $1,100, and $1,100, not $10.99 or any of that nonsense, $1,100 plus, um, I'm going to add a 20-pound uh, uh, training vest of mine when I'm running. And uh, for the record, right, that's going to be on that guy over there. I'm not running a track with a 20 pound weight vest. Sorry, everybody. It's just not an option. Regardless though, I will be putting 10 K in with, uh, with some extra luggage, but the fun one, and this is why I want to check out this Twitter live, because I'm sure that if, if I succeed at that, this is where the people are going to want to say, okay, show us what you're doing. Um, my 40th birthday is June 7th. Um, and what better way to celebrate old age than do very medically unhealthy things, such as carrying much more weight than you should when running. And so with that, uh, I happen to have another 20 pound training vest. I'm not explaining why. Um, and should I manage to raise $2,200 by the end of my 40th birthday, it's on June 7th, um, I will add another 20 pound weight vest to my run. Uh, I might need to turn it into a backpack or something, I don't know. But that is uh, going to be my goal. And uh, fundraising starts immediately. Link's gonna be, uh, it's actually in there. Um, so get in there, please help share, promote it, push it. Um, the program is a fantastic program. Uh, like I said, in terms of supporting women's wellness programs, uh, here in Manitoba, of course, the entire program uh, is, is a national program and it's oriented towards mental health awareness for women from coast to coast. And um, 
yeah, I guess that's going to be the long and short of it. I see a lot of people watching, so thank you for that. And uh, like I said, it's kind of a foreign experiment to me, but thanks for checking in. And I really hope to see some of these numbers start blasting up, and uh, it's going to be uh, an absolute ride. So thank you.